Yo! Huh? What should I do now? I'm gonna hang out here for a bit longer, but... I don't know what to do. Not like there's anything for me to do at home anyway. Oh, I got it! I'll go up to the roof or something! I'm, I'm gonna be behind the school building. You know, just because. Most of the girls are already gone. Hey, man, all these guys are obsessed with chocolate. They want candy so much, why don't they just buy us some themselves? Are you serious? This is the one day you shouldn't be buying chocolate for yourself. Yeah? Man, you're clueless. Whatever. I know I'm getting some for sure today. Part-time workers at Juness? The important thing is that I have any at all. Right, Chie-san? Yukiko-san? I see you've got some big bags with you today. Wow, that's not the sound of desperation or anything. Yeah, I do have some. Uh, Yukiko, why don't you hand yours out first? N no, you first, Chie. I, I can't. Not here. Wait, why? <gasps> Is it? You know, I, I like candy. Kanji, take the hint. We're both out of the picture now. Oh, are you guys handing out chocolate? Great timing! Here you go, Chie-senpai, for always being so hardworking. Why me? Because today's for giving out chocolate to the people you like, right? It's a great day to say thank you to all those people in your life, not just your romantic partner. Wow, putting a new spin on things. She's so thoughtful. Must be all those years in showbiz. Hey, what about him? I'll give him his chocolate later. I've got some stuff to take care of right now, but I'll call you soon. Does that mean... Oh. I feel like everyone's super curious about who I'm going to hand my special chocolate to. If I do it now, it'll be embarrassing. So, see you later. Well, I have some other people to give chocolate to. Bye! Oh, hey, Naoto-kun. What's up? Oh, well... Didn't you say that you're not the kind of person who gives chocolate to just anybody? Sorry, that was a little mean. But I'm serious, too, and I'm not gonna lose. Senpai? <clears throat> Senpai, I have to talk to you later, so I'll see you then. What was all that? Oh well, Kanji. Guess we're spending time with each other today. Sure, why not? Attention everyone! I have chocolates here with everyone's names on them. Please take your candy and go home. Okay... If you can't find yours, come see me later. That's it. Dismissed. Any questions? Come on, what are you doing? You've got to make a decision right now. Oh... Uh... uh me, me too. I I've got candy for everybody but you, so, uh... I'll see you later. What the hell, man? What kind of crazy voodoo are you doing to be such a chick magnet? How 
can one guy be so popular with the ladies? What? Senpai's popular? Whoa, that's impressive. What's impressive is how clueless you are. Sorry for being such a spaz just now in front of everybody. Here, this is yours. It's a, a little different from everyone else's. You, um, do, do you have something else to do today? I'm not doing anything, so uh, maybe I'll go with you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I won't do that. <laughs> no. <sighs> Don't worry. I won't ask anything about today or if you have someone else. I believe in you. But it's still a little sad. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm asking too much. <sighs> I'll call you later. I didn't mean to have that come out like that, but I couldn't go back. Um, this is for you. It's a bit large. Actually, I was thinking that we could go somewhere together after this and share it, just the two of us. But that's just me. I'm kidding myself. Ugh. Where are you going after this? What are you gonna do? You're not telling your girlfriend what you're doing. On Valentine's Day. Ugh. I... I am your girlfriend, right? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I just get worried sometimes. I, I'm crazy, aren't I? It's not that I don't have any trust in you. I guess I'm not that confident about who I am. And I think of you as someone that I can't have all to myself. It's strange. I'm sorry. I don't know what I want to say to you myself. You're going to see someone else today, aren't you? That's not a good answer. But never mind. I don't want to know the real answer. Well, this is a first. There is a mystery, and I know the answer. Yet, I want to look away from it. When I try to logically analyze the situation, another part of me tries to stop it. It tells me, you'll only get hurt. And now, I'm following that voice. I'm a failure for someone who claims to be after the truth. Can bother us here. I've got you all to myself. <laughs> Just kidding. Here, this is for you. Sorry to keep you waiting. I knew you'd notice how special it is. I added durian and habanero to it. Anyone can just melt some chocolate and pour it into a mold. Where's the love in that? So I added a bit of originality. I'm certain you'll like it. What's the matter? Oh, eat it now. 
I worked so hard on it. I want to see your happy face. Aren't you glad, senpai? <sighs> Fine then. I forgive you. But you'll have to tell me what you think later. The only thing I can hear is the sound of the waves. It's like we're all alone in the world. I'm going to tell you my dreams. I haven't told anyone else. I want to work and go to college. I think I could study lots of things. And during all that, I want to have a serious relationship with a man I love and get married on a tropical island and live in a house with a big yard and get a big dog. I'll cook and live happily with my husband. And then when we're old, we're going to drink tea every day by the garden. Together. Just kidding. I'm such a weirdo. Hey, don't jump to any conclusions. I didn't even say who I was talking about. Senpai, by a man I love, I meant you. Right now it's just a dream, but it's important to me. So I want to make all my dreams come true one by one, with you at my side. Whoa, <laughs> you can't take that back. Did you know, Senpai? People were born from the sea. I feel like we're Adam and Eve right now, just the two of us here. Eve was Adam's wife, so... That means Adam gets to have Eve all to himself. You're late. Huh? Oh, yeah. Today, I can't have the nose or Margaret getting in my way. Don't worry, I got permission. I have chocolate. You can have it. That room doesn't have any eclectic Lautwitz. I did the best I could, but I don't know if it turned out any good. Sorry. Huh? It's okay? It's fine? Huh. What do you mean, incredible? You can eat it. If you don't hurry, it'll melt. If it melts, it'll run away. When you eat it, um... I want you to tell me whether it was good or not. Now. You ate it all? That's incredible. Are you stupid? Well, it, it makes my work worth it. Valentine's Day isn't an actual ritual. Huh. I looked it up. I thought it was some big event. You know, a turning point of your life. Ugh, I'm so lame. I was fooled. I feel stupid. Ugh. But it's not like that. I, I didn't make that chocolate just because I thought it was something I was supposed to. No, that, that makes it sound like I'm serious. Uh, well, I am serious, but... And, and, and you can just shut your stupid jerk face! Telling the truth! Look, just close your eyes. Shut up and close them. Thank you. Well, I don't really get it, but it looks like I don't just like you. I want to be with you forever and ever. I love you. I love you so much. today? Ding, ding, ding! You are 
correct. This is my favorite chocolate. It's sweet and yummy. Today, my teacher said, Valentine's Day isn't just a day to give out chocolate. It's a day to say thank you to the people you care about. Teacher gave us all chocolate, everybody, even me. And when she gave it to me, she said, it's been tough for you, but you've done very well. Everyone tells me I'm strong for pulling through. That's why I said thank you back. And I said that my big bro and my dad are rooting for me. And that's why I can be happy again. <laughs> really? And then my teacher was so happy. And then she said, when someone's cheering you on, even when you're in trouble, you feel energized. Do you feel like that when I cheer you on? Me too. When you root for me, I get so happy. We're the same. Me, my dad, and your friends are all on your side. Even if you go back soon, I hope you're happy. I had one more chocolate. I made it myself. The big girls taught me how to make homemade chocolate creations. That's why I made one for you. Chie said I should mix in iced coffee to add flavor. Oh, and bacon, since everyone likes bacon. Luckily, there was some bacon and iced coffee in the fridge. Rise Chan said that the chocolate should assert itself, so it needs to be either really sweet or really spicy. You're a grown up, big bro, so I thought you'd appreciate a bitter taste. So I put bell peppers and wheatgrass juice in it. I think that sour chocolate sounds really assertive. So I added vinegar and ponzu sauce too. Yukiko said that my chocolate would have depth if I added fish. So I added some fish sausage and some of dad's fermented squid. And Naoto told me she'd let me borrow a recipe book. And when I told her I was already done, she told me that you'd enjoy anything that I made for you. Um, big bro, thank you. I love you.